Now in this video, we'll try to understand how the multicast is going to work in your LAN segment, how the switches will identify the multicast traffic, whether it is a normal unicast traffic or a broadcast traffic, how it's going to differentiate the multicast traffic as well. So by using a feature called IJMP snooping. So let's first try to understand multicast Mac here. Now, if you just quickly revise the basic concept of the IGMP protocol, IGMP protocol, whenever a host wants to receive the multicast traffic, it's going to inform the local router with some report message saying that it wants to receive the multicast traffic from for so-and-so group. And the router is going to figure out the source by using some PIM protocol and it's going to get the multicast traffic from the source. And the thing is, now the router will forward the traffic to the the particular switch but now the question is how the switch is going to forward the traffic because when it is sending the traffic is will be the source address the source will be the router address and the destination address will be always the multicast address so the multicast address will be 224.5.5.5 let's take an example now by default the switch will see the equal and mac address for this address for this device and if then there is no device with that particular address in your in your LAN, then how it's going to find out the MAC address? How, what, what's going to be the MAC address for this multicast group? Now there is a mechanism here. What it is going to do is it's going to convert the MAC, the multicast group address into equivalent MAC address. And that's something first we'll try to understand what is the equivalent MAC address it's going to convert based on the group address. Now, to identify the multicast MAC address, it always starts with something called 0100FE. Uh, so first we'll try to understand how the multicast is going to, uh, what is the multicast MAC address it's going to use. So if you want to, the, if you want to see the conversion process by default, there are some six steps in the conversion process. Let's say we are going to send the multicast traffic for this group address 228.10.24.5 and by default it's going to convert automatically but here we are going to see the process. It's going to write down in the equivalent binary format. Now in that equivalent binary format the first four bits will be always replaced with 01005E. This is something standardized. So any multicast address will always start with 01005E. And then the next five bits, the next five bits here, will be always represented as zeros. So the next five bits will be always represented as zeros. And then whatever the remaining 23 bits, it's going to take the same 23 bits as a part of the MAC address. But the only difference is the last 23 bits in the form of decimal format. It's going to convert into equivalent hexadecimal format based on the binary format here. Now, let me just see the things here. The first four bits will be always will be written as 01004E. That's the first four bits. And the next thing, the next five bits, it's going to be always zeros. So it's going to be 01005E, 01005E based on the first four bits. And then the remaining addresses will be based on the zero here, the five bit zeros. And then if you take this zero and three portion zero, 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 it becomes zero. That's what you can see zero here. And then here it is 8421. Uh, it's going to be uh, 8 plus 2, 10. 10 is A. And the next four bits, 0001, it's going to be 1. And the next four bits, it's going to be 1000. So it's going to be 8. And the next four bits will be 0. And the last four bits will be 5 because it's 8421. Again, this is something automatically it is going to do. So we are not going to convert the MAC address. This is just the just the representation you need to know how it's going to use. Now I got the steps here and it's going to use the last 23 bits. In that last 23 bits, it's going to use the same, uh, same whatever you have in the IP version 4. It's going to convert into equal and hexadecimal format in the MAC address. And the multicast MAC address always starts with 0100FE. 